going on guys? Joe with OMGRC.com. So what do we have today? This was sent to us from Banggood. So big shout out to our rep, Kiddo Pan. So this is the Rock Crawler D7 four wheel drive cross country, 112th scale. And uh, so it's brush system, 2.4 gigahertz radio, 45 kilometers an hour, which is around 27 miles an hour, close to 28. You know, that's what kind of roughly around there. Without further ado, let's get this thing open and take a look at what's inside. I did want to show you how everything zip tied in the box. Everything's kind of held down, so that's nice on that part of it. it even looks like we got a charger that's in here. Let's take a look at it. Even just the body, it's a pretty tough body. I mean, a really tough body on that one. It's almost a, a hard plastic to a certain extent. So let's go ahead, I'll get the zip ties off of here so that way we can get all this stuff out. Okay, so what comes in the box? We got our instruction manual. It does come with a parts, information in regards to setting up the vehicle for the first time, and what also is that this is a two-in-one, the electronic speed controller and receiver, but it does have a servo, a 550 motor, and then you have your lithium-ion batteries there. Now, and it does have like a little bit of a breakdown in the back here, so like as far as your differentials, just kind of speaking of differentials, this has a front differential and a rear differential. There's no center differential, just kind of let you guys know in regards to that. But it looks like we got bearings that are in here, so that's a good thing. So it looks like it's got bearings throughout the vehicle. So that's a plus on that part of it. Now there is one little part I was like, oh, hoping this thing was gonna have oil filled shocks, but it doesn't, at least it doesn't look like we can add them in there. But it might be something we can upgrade to anyhow, which would be, because I didn't see any O-rings or anything like that on it. But anyway, not a bad deal. Now this is a pretty decent size 1 12th scale. Just kind of showing you a little bit like, it's a 1 10th scale, here's a 1 12th scale. I know it's a little bit hard to see on camera, but trust me, this thing is pretty decent size. You kind of look at it from the above. I know it's a little bit hard. Even just, even the wheel size right here, you can see the wheels kind of up against each other. That's a 1 10th scale, but yeah. So it, it's a pretty, it's a big size 1 12th scale. So I was a little surprised with that. All right, now as far as body goes, it is a Lexan body, and then it has like a hard plastic that's on top of it. And I did have to remove a plastic cover that was on there just to kind of protect the body from getting scratched up in, in transit. But there is still plastic. You can see it a little bit right here, and then you can see it a little bit better in the back. So if you want to, you can get in there and pull that plastic right off of there. Now the bumper on it, it's pretty flexible, which is good and bad. It's just that it's gonna probably smack into your body, but not a bad, it's not bad but it is flexible, so that's good in some ways. Uh, when it comes to the wheels themselves, there's no foams in them, but they are kind of feel like kind of a hard to medium compound on them anyhow. So uh, yeah, take it for what it's worth on that one. Definitely dig, I like the five star looking wheels on it. That kind of sold me on it a little bit as well. Just the whole body looks cool in that 550 motor. I was like, okay, potential there. Can make this thing a little bit quicker for sure. Now. Like I was saying about the shocks too, so it's got a lot of bounce in it. So, you know, driving this thing, it's going to be a little bit of a handful, especially if you're trying to go faster, you're going to need to change out those shocks or see what we can do. I'll have to see a little bit more into the shocks tearing apart and see what's up, but I think these things are not oil filled. I think they're just kind of a friction shock, So, which means you can't put oil in them. All right, underneath the body itself, you can see that part of it. It does have a spot in the front here where the bumper where you could add LEDs in here and it does have like a little extra little cord that's right here it does say LED so this thing could add extra little LEDs to the front just kind of give it a little extra touch uh, I just want to kind of touch on this part of it which is your little charger and this would be uh, you know plug it in you know obviously it's USB so you know it as far as what the, where you can plug these in at as far as into your computer into what you would charge your phone with what have you uh, the radio, radio itself it's got a little nice rubber foam grip that's on there. You got your little on and off that's here. This mode button, I'm not really sure. I was trying to look at the instructions, so I'm not sure if that's, I don't really know. So I can't tell you what that is exactly right now. Uh, your steering trim's up at the top here. So you can take a look at those. And then you got four double A's that are the, at the bottom. So you just slide this little cover off and you get to those. So not bad. It actually doesn't feel too bad in the hand. It has kind of that same style as uh, another, another popular company. I'm not gonna say, but. It does have a, it's, it's not bad, it's a good grip. Now, like I said, this has a two-in-one as far as electronic speed controller and receiver in one. 
and we've got our 550 motor cool it's got a little heat sink that's on it it looks like this thing even has a standard size servo that's in it there's no naming or anything kind of on there so we don't know what that kilogram is on it uh, as far as servo saver it does have a little spring-loaded servo saver that's in there kind of, kind of see it in there a little spring so yeah the dog bones in here too and kind of look these little steel these are steel ones so that's nice on that part of it so assuming maybe even just the differentials are steel as well I mean, we can put a little bit of power to this thing <laughs> all right so uh the evil laugh um willy bar so that's pretty cool on that one it's pretty it's pretty soft you know plastics too so they're going to be able to take quite a bit of abuse and bumping and banging all around so uh, that's good especially if you're this is kind of like a someone that's just getting into the hobby or anything like that so those plastics will definitely give before breaking now as far as getting to the battery and the underside of it as well there's this two little parts that you just got to pinch here and then you can get your little light, your little battery out so this is a lithium-ion battery that's here and it's a 5,000 milliamp uh, 7.4 volts so cool and it does have the T-Style or Dean connections that are on there. The battery tray is a little bit bigger, so it can accommodate a little bit bigger battery. So that's a good thing. All right, so all in all, uh, I'll get this thing, I'll get a running video of this here in the next couple days, but we can see yeah, how fast it is. And I'm gonna work on as far as the shocks too, because I definitely would like to get those, you know, some oil in them. So we'll see about that one. But anyway, appreciate you guys watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check this. I'll put a link in the description below if you guys want to get one of these. Yeah. And uh, also, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this vehicle. What do you think? It's just a brand new vehicle. It just came out. So just hitting shelves more or less. Uh, Banggood said, hey, this thing was just coming out. So yeah, check it out. Definitely uh, digging it. So until next time, this is Joe with OMGRC. You guys take care and thank you for watching.